Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 6th of uh, February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the um, Monday's trading session, in terms of fundamentals, let's certainly um, delve into that uh, in terms of uh, understanding exactly um, what we're up against on, on Monday. In terms of um, the data, uh, first of all, if you are trading the Aussie and Kiwi, uh, I think is going to be quite important. You have Aussie retail sales, uh, you have job adverts, you have inflation data. Uh, again, that will influence the uh, the actual uh, uh, commodity currencies, and that obviously inadvertently will will trigger the move in copper, gold, and uh, oil. So certainly keep an eye on that. Again, I you generally based on my intermarket analysis approach, I do observe the Aussie and Kiwi in terms of potential uh, risk sentiment and direction. Uh, then we have in the morning we have factory orders. German factory orders will be interesting to uh, observe, uh, especially given the fact that uh, retail sales from Germany certainly were weaker last week. Uh, in terms of uh, Centix investor confidence, although it is slightly weaker, uh, although it has been slightly weaker as of late, we'll see exactly how that's uh, faring. And again, it will it should hopefully give us a direction in terms of the euro. Uh, having said, uh, having mentioned the euro, we have had some negative comments out over the weekend, uh, or should we say uh, hawkish comments out from uh, Mr. Schobel, arguing for a stronger euro, okay, stating that it's not Germany's fault for trade surplus, etc., etc., and they could certainly afford to um, push the euro higher but if we do that it's at the uh, obviously peripheries expense so the likes of uh, france and italy certainly will start to complain along with the uh, along, along with the smaller uh, countries so again it certainly is a two-pronged approach where germany certainly is in a very uh, handsome position in terms of a potential trade service given the innovation technology and the efficiency and the economy the scale that they've reached okay and technological innovation as well they can certainly afford to uh, uh, obviously uh, requ uh, request for a stronger euro, especially given the fact that inflation is now starting to peak its head as well. Uh, and also given the fact that Trump's uh, bearish comments in terms of uh, the dollar, OK, talking about a potential trade war and a currency war, but especially arguing towards Germany. Uh, and Germany certainly is uh, punishing the, uh, the USA via a weaker euro. So. Uh, again, really, to be honest with you, in Germany's defence, they have constantly stated that uh, they would uh, certainly uh, uh, reduce the potential uh, uh, QE and certainly go to war, favor, favor a tapering approach. But Mr Draghi certainly insists on catering for all the Eurozone rather than just Germany. So again, keep watching that. If we do actually get a spike in the Euro, it's net, net neg negative for the, uh, the actual... Um, uh, equity markets so bear that in mind now the daily chart the euro as you can see here potential bull flag we do have this inverted head and shoulders formation so just bear that in mind and from my perspective it's certainly argument uh, can, a strong argument so it can certainly be made although you have a uh, contracting uh, rising wedge pattern and you are holding the key resistance around the uh, 1.08 if you break through 1.08 then the next key resistance is 1.0850 once we break 0 1.0850 folks and you break that key diagonal trend line then you are going up to uh, the inverted head and shoulders target which is 1.1020 and if that were to occur then you are looking at a bearish uh, move in equities a very bearish move now obviously we've closed the gap here which was at 1.0850 and we've certainly moved south ever since then and we'll see whether or not we can hold previous support equals resistance. Now, again, watch the euro. If the euro continues to start to move lower, then that will help European equities and alleviate the pressure in terms of the exports and certainly help European equities move higher. If we start to spike higher, start to move higher on a weaker dollar, given the fact that Mr. Trump has been complaining about a potential... Uh, and also given the fact that we uh, the wage inflation, the wage uh, data certainly on Friday was certainly on the weaker side, indicating obviously a uh, potential uh, March rate hike off the table. And if that's the case, then obviously the, uh, the dollar, dollar certainly is going to fall. Now, talking about the dollar index, again, watch out for the dollar index. Now, let's just bring this up on a daily chart. You do have a bear flag formation, okay? So don't get me wrong. You have a, 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 a in, uh, unfilled gap to be closed at around the 31.13, 1.5, and then you have 200 MA, and then you have gap filled below as well. So certainly a very high probability of this market breaking lower, or alternatively, we could start to push higher and the euro pushes lower. So just bear that in mind. Dollar side of the equation certainly is a prime for a potential move lower, especially given the fact that wage inflation or wage price growth certainly was on the weaker side, and thereby, and also given the fact that the Fed weren't as, as hawkish as everybody expected this week, 
again, certainly does add uh, fuel to that fire, especially with Mr. Trump's uh, switch now to a, uh, a weaker dollar policy. So again, certainly will weigh and uh, certainly look for the uh, dollar index start to fall, and which in turn sends the euro higher. So again, that'll be interesting to observe. Okay, now in terms of economic data, factory data, our uh, Germany is stronger, then you are going to see a spike in the euro, so keep an eye on that. Okay, now in terms of... Um, Technicals, let's look at the actual technical picture and let's see exactly where we are. Now, the other bearish arguments to quote going into Monday's trading session, uh, Schobel's Euro trade surplus, hawkish comments, again, as we already know, uh, Trump's uh, German trade war, which I've already explained, uh, your France, your terrorism incident in Louvre, uh, if I can pronounce that correctly, you certainly have um, uh, risk off based on that. OK, and then obviously the political uncertainty regarding Mr. Trump, given the fact that his appeal has been rejected. OK, so again, uh, with regards to this potential immigration and Muslim ban, uh, Iran raising oil output, OK, defying OPEC, given the uh, the ban by the USA and the political uncertainty obviously revolved around that. Uh, Le Pen, the extremist radical, uh, really is uh, launching a party on the fact that they want to be out of Europe. So again, that is a cause of concern, especially with the euro. And then you also have Brexit concerns with potentially 27 MPs certainly revolting against May and making uh, the uh, situation of Brexit even harder. So certainly uh, a barrage of arguments there from my perspective, certainly indicating a potential lower move. Now let's see exactly where we are in the German DAX because the German DAX really is a leader in Europe. Uh, again, the daily chart of the German DAX has a H and S formation. Okay, so again, looking for the bias to remain bearish from my perspective. 60 minute chart, you are uh, you're stuck between uh, a rock and a hard place with two gaps. You have a gap to fill above at uh, 11,815, and then you have a gap filled to, to fill below around the 11,530, uh, 11,540. So there are two zones that you must certainly close the gap on and uh, certainly looking for the next move or, uh, there. Okay, so uh, again, uh, do we go lower and close the gap below and start to push lower and trigger this H&S formation? Okay, on the daily chart and on the 60 minute chart as well. Uh, or do we uh, close the gap above and then start to move low? So again, it's uh, it's an interesting conundrum to be in, okay? Uh, the 10 minute chart, the German DAX, at the moment you are building a base around the 11.630, but like I said, you have the unfilled gap below at 11.540, and especially given the fact that you have banking concerns, political concerns in the U in the Europe uh, Eurozone, you have terrorism concerns as well, and also you have technical concerns in the USA with regards to the S&P reaching its double top. So certainly an interesting scenario to be in at present, okay? Right, in terms of the French CAC, now the French CAC, from my perspective, certainly very bearish, has retested his H&S neckline <clears throat> and now wants to go lower. We've actually retraced up to 61% Fib resistance and therefore looking for a move lower on the French CAC. So looking to close that gap below at 4790 on the French CAC, especially with Schauble's hawkish euro comments. Again, that's certainly what is going to hurt yeah, the, uh, the actual uh, market itself. OK, so again, you have unfilled gaps. So two unfilled gaps. You've got one at 4740, 4750, and then the next one you've got is 4790. So again, looking for that gap to be filled. So watch out for those gaps below, OK, in terms of the French CAC. 10-minute chart. H&S formation is already brewing, so looking for that H&S trigger. Obviously, given the terrorism concerns in Lovre, obviously, given the uh, Schauble comments as well, and uh, not to mention the extremist politician, Marilyn Le Pen, potentially coming into power. And again, that does send some shockwave into the system. So again, watch out for that. OK, FTSE 100. Uh, uh, now, very impressed with the FTSE's move, really. It was more of a, uh, a commodity-led, uh, potentially uh, sterling-led uh, move. And certainly did to trigger an epic short squeeze above 7200. You, knew, you certainly knew it was a short squeeze given the fact that 7200 was taken out and we reversed very, very, very sharply. So, again, certainly need to respect that as well to a large extent. So, in terms of the uh, the FTSE itself, from my perspective, certainly need to retest the 7170 zone and potentially a 7130 zone before we really start to move higher. Double bottom, again, you, yeah, we just certainly respect that for now. And we'll see whether or not it actually lasts itself, especially given the fact that the uh, the monthly candle on the uh, FTSE 100 certainly has a uh, an extensive topping tail looking to reverse. OK, so just bear that in mind. Daily chart at the moment, you have horizontal resistance currently sitting around the uh, 7200 zone on the daily chart. And we'll see whether or not we can take that out. If you take the 7205, then the bulls are certainly control and you will start to thrust higher or turn to be the bears should regain control here and start to move this uh, equity market lower so again let's see how the market responds 
In terms of the um, Euro stocks now, last but not least, let's just bring the Euro stocks. Okay, Euro stocks on the weekly chart, so 60 minute chart, certainly into resistance. The daily chart itself, we did actually break lower, we broke both back higher now again, and we'll see which exactly which way this pattern wants to go. 60 minute chart, you are into, uh, sorry, weekly chart, you are into key resistance and have held as far. So that certainly is respected. And the 60 minute chart, like I said, you have the unfilled gap to close above. And it'd be interesting to see how the markets react with regards to that. Now, the 10 minute chart of the euro stocks, you have a HS formation. So again, indicating a potential drop and looking for a move lower, probably around here, which is around the 3250 zone. Then you have uh, 3245. And then obviously, you have the key. Uh, support at the gap fill which is uh, 3320 so again from my perspective bias certainly remains bearish going into Monday's trading given the political and geopolitical uh, obviously uh, situation unfolding certainly is uh, risk risk negative on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus goodbye